Yo yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Acero Corsa video. Today racing around the 2023 Las Vegas Grand Prix track. And this mod has been made so fast because uh, on the day the announcement was made, Nuke Drop instantly created this absolute masterpiece. This is the actual track they're going to be racing on. The last video I did was on the Champ Car 2007 track uh, where they raced. Um, not the actual F1 track as I said in that video. Um, but we're gonna be letting ourselves get lapped um, and then start racing. Just to make it a little bit more of a challenge. It's 14 laps. The AI around modded tracks usually isn't as fast. Um, so that way we can um, make it a bit more of a challenge because last to first is too easy, uh, even though I put the AI level to the highest. All right, so as you can see, all cards are getting passed now. Um, I'm waiting for all of them to get past me. I think Magnussen is coming across the line in any second. Oh, that was Sue. Sue was the last one. So now we can start. And we need to try and overtake everyone and then uh, unlap ourselves, basically. And then start our actual race. Um, I'm going to be using DRS everywhere because the AI is doing that as well. Otherwise, it's going to be very tough to um, be able to do this. As you can see, that was already a massive straight, but it's not the longest one. Oh my god, a Red Bull has spun. Anyway, that's a, free, a few free positions for us. Now this left-hander is all flat out. The AI tends to lift a little bit. Through here, oh, don't give me the space. And then they do the same through here, even though it's easy flat. And then there's a tight left-hander coming up. I've already done a few laps. Not sure if I've said that in a little practice race before this. And um, I could see the AI was pretty slow, hence why I decided to do this challenge. And this is the long straight. I think you're flat out for like 20 seconds. Even though you approach that straight with quite a lot of speed. And you can see we're so low on wings, we're just passing everyone. I've adjusted my setup a little bit for this track. Big chicane. And then another flat out straight. And I think the team that has... The least amount of drag is gonna be so fast around here. Just because of the straights. There are barely any high speed corners. Oh, bit of a luck up. It's a lot of 90 degree corners. But I reckon you can get away with running pretty low on downforce. I've no idea how many cars we've left so far. Verstappen has retired. And Hamilton and P18. They might have collided. Oh dear. We're gonna go try and go around the outside, maybe. Yeah, just like we did the lap before. As they tend to lift a little bit through here. Oh, that McLaren went a bit wide. And they're gonna lift again through here. We're gonna take a nice advantage of that. Alright. I think that are the final few we have to unlap. This is going to be pretty tough. We've already done two laps, I think so. Yeah, we're finishing our second lap. And we haven't unlapped everyone yet. You can see the straight is so long. It's ridiculous. Let's check how long we're flat out uh, on the next lap. We've actually run out of ERS for this lap. I reckon the AI is struggling with this as well. Surely. Five six. It was our lap time. Another long straight again after turn three. If that's turn three. Oh, that curb is pretty aggressive on the inside. We've unlapped everyone, as that was Schumacher, who was in P1. As we are currently a second up almost on our Delta. It's slowly gonna come down, probably, because we don't have a lot of ERS anymore. 
I actually forgot to check how long we're gonna be flat out for. I was too focused on overtaking Schumacher. It's such a fast chicane. It's crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if some corner angles are gonna be a little bit different. Of course, because, you know, the actual track is not built yet. But. Yeah, the fact that this mod was made this fast is absolute madness. Shout out to Nugdrop. You can see him on the bridge right here. Check out his YouTube. Uh, he made his mod for free. It's on the race department, so if you want to play it yourself, check out race department Las Vegas 2023 track. Oh, and I've spun. I'm so stupid. This is not helping us. Now Schumacher's right with us again. Uh, this is not handy in our hand to try and unlap them ourselves. A bit wide there. Anyway, we entered that straight. We had 55 seconds on our lap time right here. And we're already 10 seconds flat out. And you enter that trade with quite a lot of speed already. And you're just 330 kph all the way. You're flat out for more than 20 seconds. That's absolutely madness. And then you have a little chicane. And you're flat out for another like 15 seconds again. I think you're gonna be repassing each other multiple times on the on those trades. Once again, a little bit of a twisty section. Big hairpin, so a big overtaking opportunity. Then a long right-hander, and then again, a very long straight. All flat out. It's pretty mad. Let's try to not spin this time around. It's a big bump there on the apex. We're not sure if that will be there for the actual Grand Prix as well. Entering the straight, 47 seconds. Just checking if I was correct last time. And we've run out of ERS at this point, which is not that weird considering it's flat out all the time. 47 seconds and we're gonna be hitting the brake at 109. So 22 seconds, it's flat out. Brutal. Absolute madness. Let's see how far we're we behind Schumacher coming across the line. 77 seconds. So we need to gain a lot of time. <laughs> but it's not impossible. We're obviously a lot faster than the AI. Alright, we gained 7 seconds. On the last lap, we need to gain a bit more, to be honest, if we wanna still win the, win this race. But yeah, we need to hope for a mistake from Schumacher. Then, which, as you guys might know, AI on that sort of course is pretty prone to mistakes. So, all right, so Norris has had a mistake or an incident. I think so. I think he was P2 before. Oh, actually, that's P7. I can see Stroll. Alright, another 8 second gain to Schumacher on the last lap. I think we might be running out of time soon. I might have given myself not enough laps. My tires are starting to fade away as well. I went for the softs, but it's so high speed that you might be better off using the mediums. Alright, another 20, 124. I think we've gained 10 seconds on the last lap, so... Maybe a mistake from Schumacher? Right, another one. 24. It's probably going to be hard to improve on our PB because we have no ERS left, basically. To catch up to Hamilton, then overtake everyone and still win the race. Feels like it's going to be near impossible, but we're going to try, of course. Oh, the yellow flag. We've gained a lot on that last lap. 11 seconds or something like that. Probably should be seeing Hamilton soon. He's 10 seconds ahead. 
12. Alright, 31 seconds to the leader. Very unlikely at this point that we're gonna get him. We're looking to get Hamilton on this lap, maybe. My tires are starting to fade away as well. Alright, and that's past Hamilton. We were driving very slowly through that corner, like all the AIs. Not sure if this is if we're gonna be entering the final lap soon, or if there's still two laps remaining. No, still two laps remaining, so that's good for us. Trying to get a better exit than the AI's ahead of me, and as you can see, that worked very well. I was patient on entry, so we could all get him on the exit. Anyway, up to P14 now. With two laps to go. Our tires are struggling. You can see we have so much more straight line speed than AI. Just because we're running lower wings. Especially now everyone their battery is drained. Right through there. Down the inside here. He's gonna be going slow. And down the inside here again. And we're gonna be careful in entry and get a good exit. Up to oh he's squeezing me. Nice slipstream here. And that's up to P10. I think so. P9. Yeah, that's P9. Alright, one more lap after this to go. Can we catch the leader? It's looking very unlikely, to be honest. And we're gonna try and gain as much positions as possible. Tires are absolutely finished. On the inside of the Williams. Alright, flat out rear, and then we're gonna go. Or switchback, I wanted to say. Easy pass. And that is P5. Top 5 is secure. Secure. Oh my god, I can't even speak. Oh, I think P4 might be too far away. I don't know where they are. Uh, top 4 is all very close. So it's, lo it's looking like we're only gonna get P5 as we drive by the Caesar Palace. <laughs> and the Eiffel Tower on the left. I've walked next to that Eiffel Tower at a karting race in, in Las Vegas in 2015. And uh, I went to the strip. But it's looking like it's only going to be P5. I think if we didn't get that spin, we would have had a good shot at winning the race. But I'm washed, unfortunately, so you know. Hope you guys enjoyed this Las Vegas 2023 Grand Prix video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. And see you guys next time. Ciao.